So what we're going to look at, this is called simplifying polynomials. Uh, polynomial is uh, like a term in mathematics and has different variables <coughs> attached to it. So we have the letter A and B. These are known as variables. And if we have a number in front of the letter, do you know what they call this? There's a special word for it. Um, it's, oh, a constant? Very or? close. It's a coefficient. A constant would have no variables attached. And it can be visually hard to tell the difference. So because this is directly beside a variable, it's implied that that means multiplied by. So if we have a number multiplied by a variable, it's called a coefficient. But... I'm going to draw one at the end here, and then we'll take it away. If I was to say plus 4, you'll notice there's no variables attached to it. That's called a constant. Okay? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, these are coefficients. Um, not too important, I mean, for the process of solving things, but it's good to know whenever they use that math language, okay? So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my coefficients. So I have a coefficient of 4 and a coefficient of 7. And then... A one. Ah, very good. I have ones there, even though they're not... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, there you go. I have a one and a one here, even though they aren't written in. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to highlight um, just common variables. Uh, how many different variables do we have in this question? Um, we have two different variables. That's right. Even though there looks like there's so many, I could count them. I could technically start thinking, oh, I got one, two, three, four, but that's not it. We have an A variable and we have a B variable. So that's actually really simple. A's have to be associated with A and B's have to be associated with B. So we have, let's highlight them. We have our A's and we have our B's. Question again. I want to check one thing out. Before. Okay, uh, I changed some of the exponents here. And there's a reason for that, just to make sure this question is going to work for us. Okay, so we've highlighted our variables. Uh, we have all the a's highlighted in red, all the b variables highlighted in blue. We have our coefficients highlighted, really, really organized and wonderful. But there's one thing we have to take a look at. We have to look at the operations in this question. And this question is asking us to add and subtract. Okay. That's really, really important. We can actually only add or subtract um, terms that have the same variables. If we're multiplying, it's very different. We can start combining things all we like. But when I say same variables, what I mean is that the power is in the variables have to be the same for each term. So this plus sign here, I'm going to use like a red line, this plus sign and this subtraction sign, they separate terms. So mm -hmm. this is actually one term, this is another, this is another, and this is another. There are actually four terms in this question, okay? And we have to find the ones that have the same variables. So I'm going to take a look at the very first term. I'm going to call this the first one, okay? Are there any other terms in this question that have variables that have the same exponent? Which one? What's the coefficient in that question? Oh, uh um, the coefficient is, wait, the coefficient is 4. Yeah, exactly. So this one here and this one here are like terms. That's what they call them, like terms. So, um, is this, um, is that a negative sign? Uh, no, here? I just kind of screwed up. 100%. Oh, okay. oh, great question, because if it is a 2 minus, what is it minus thing? No, I just erased something. If I'm okay. That. Um, that's a symbol error on my part. Um, so, if those are like terms, dun, 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 dun. how about our second term? I'm going to do it in red. No, I'm not going to do it in red. We already used that color. Our second term. Is there a like term to our second term? Yes, this one. Yeah. And the coefficient. Do you know what the coefficient in this one is? The coefficient yeah. is seven. Seven, yeah. And sometimes you could say negative seven. It becomes a, a little tricky with the negatives. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rearrange the equation. We can put things um, in any order we like. Don't worry. I'll solve that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green terms. I'm going to call them green. So this one and this one here. I'm going to put them beside each other. So I'm going to rewrite it. Because with all those colors, it's a bit confusing at the moment, at least to me. I'm going to write 1a squared b. And then what's really important is I need to look at the operation in front. 
What's the operation in front of that coefficient or that it's, number four? It's a plus. Yes. So, so I'm going to write plus 4a squared b. So now these two are like terms. Okay. This next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the other term. So let's give ourselves a little check. I've used that term and I've used that term. That's great. I'm going to write this other term here. Very first thing I need to do, what's the operation in front of that coefficient? It's plus. Yeah, so I'm going to say plus 1ab squared. What's the operation in front of its like term over here? Oh, this one here. Um, this one is uh, minus, so it's negative. Well, yeah, negative. it could be hard to tell the difference here. I'm going to tell you a trick to this, okay? And these two are like terms because their variables are the same. Now, you're raising a great question. Is this a minus? Is this a negative? It's really hard to tell. I'm going to tell you something. In mathematics, we technically add everything. Everything is an addition question. I can rewrite. I'm going to do it just on the side over here, okay? This thing here could be rewritten as this. Plus. Yeah, ab squared plus negative 7ab squared. And maybe I put like a little bracket to make it more obvious that it's a negative. Mm -hmm. But what becomes tricky in math, I'm going to rewrite it again just below. Looks like I'm writing lab actually. <coughs> lab squared uh, plus negative 7ab. What's really tricky here is we have a plus and a subtraction right beside each other. And it gets confusing. What, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to add? Am I supposed to subtract? subtract? Do you know the rules for multiplying um, integers, like positives and negatives? If I multiply um, two positives, do you know what I get? Yeah, it becomes... Uh, wait, two positives becomes a positive. Yeah. Two negatives becomes a positive. Yeah, very good. And, and a negative and a positive become negative. Ah, okay. So I want you to use that last rule you said to simplify this. Positive and negative. How can I just write that as one? Just negative. And that's exactly what we got here. Just negative, okay? So if you ever run into that where you have two operations beside each other like that, use these rules here to simplify that operation. It'll most likely work for you, okay? Okay, we have our like terms. Now that we have our like terms, our variables actually don't change because there's no multiplying or dividing. If there's multiplying or dividing, these variables will change. The exponents would technically change. But because it's adding and subtracting, this is actually just a simple coefficient addition question. 1 plus 4. 5. So we get 5, and we attach the variables, a squared b. So you wouldn't add any of the exponents that are on top? No, because we only do that when we multiply. Okay. When we add, it's only the coefficients, and the variables stay the exact same. Okay. So if we were multiplying and... Since there's no exponent, I, well, there's a 1, yes, but since it doesn't show, oh, right, when you multiply, it's still the same. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. Um, what about the second one? We have a positive 1 and a negative 7. What does that uh, um, equate it's, to? It's negative, oh, wait, negative 6. Mm -hmm. A, B, squared. And... Again, we had two like terms, so it simplified to one, and hence remember this is called simplifying, and simplified to one. These two aren't like terms. We can't go any farther. Commonly so in math, we might write a little equal sign here, too, just to help us, but that's it. That's as far as that question can go, okay? I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, how are we on time on this question? This is a bit long. I'll make a second video. I'm going to do another video on how to multiply them, okay? So this is simplifying polynomials by just adding and subtracting, okay? Um, how is that idea?